Well, it's 7.30 in the morning. Um, I'm down at Paradise here at Mount Rainier. The plan today is to hike up to Camp Muir for a day hike, for a conditioning hike. Um, I spent the night down here in the, uh, in the parking lot in the back of the truck. Um, here we're uh, going to have breakfast, <coughs> waiting for the rest of the crew to show up. Weather's kind of kind of rainy, drizzly, rained most all night, um, wet, kind of chilly, um, anyway, make the best of it. Okay, it's about 8.40, uh, Wes has showed up, and, uh, Drawer showed up, and several others, so, weather's still kind of sucky, we're gonna get ready to go here, here's where we're going. Wes is putting together his secret Cytomax energy potion there. Okay, we're ready to go here. Um, we got seven of us total. Um, let's get started. Yeah, we're continuing up the up the hill. You can see up there is the traverse up to. Panorama Point. So there's the traverse kind of going up through those rocks. Nice little trail goes up there. I don't see Wes and Bennett and Drawer. They all blew past me, so I'm back here by myself. Plugging along. Ah, they're there. Just taking a little break. Where we got to go. Okay, we're about 6,900 feet. Been going for about an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, stop and take a quick break, get rid of these rain pants, and get a little drink and uh, some these here, and then get out again. Yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. Big. Got nothing to see. Trail is pretty much well marked by these little flags, wands. I don't know if you can see it there, but other people have put in wands up the main route. You just kind of basically go from wand to wand all to the boot path. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. This is Pebble Creek, which in the summer is all melt it out, it's a nice place to stop and have a break and sit on the grass, sit on the rocks. Wait a minute, this is summer. What's going on? From here on out, it's basically one bearing from here up to Moon Rocks and then uh, another bearing from Moon Rocks to uh, Camp Muir. Just a slog up this big old huge snow field. Okay, at about 8,300 feet, that's Moon Rocks up there. That's kind of the next milestone. It's about a thousand feet below mirror. And the weather's kind of about the same. Are we having fun yet? Hey, Roar! Hey. Where are we going? Up there. Okay, we're at Moon Rocks. It's been about three hours and twenty minutes coming up here. It is freezing cold. Wind's blowing. Yeah. Sun's kind of starting to break out. Okay, here we are. About four and a half hours, not exactly lightning speed. It's freezing cold up here. Sun over there, there's the solar bathrooms. There's where people set up their tents. Down there coming up. 
Okay, Drew. Okay, we're going over to the proverbial hut. There it is. Probably filled full of people. Oh my god! Sorry about that. Well, kind of banged some things up in there, opening the door. There's a pounder there. Cool old door handle went over and knocked some pots yeah. and stuff on the ground. Yeah, you don't have to spread around that door over here. Is there a like a table for lunch kind of thing? Uh, over here? Yeah, that's it, yeah. That's it. No dining table? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we took it down later. Chair. Felt bad about knocking all the stuff off their shelf there. Gave them a gallon of water. They're pretty happy now. Gonna go back and give them another, another half gallon or so. Hey, there we go, I made it. <laughs> so it's fun. Kind of cool. It's kind of it was up. freezing cold on that last yeah. little bit from Moon Rocks coming up yeah. here. Right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to take off here in just a second since I get my bottle back. People setting up tents for the night here. Oh, they're going to start heading down. Look up towards the mirror. Man, Dang, see the, see all the crevasses over on the Nisqually Glacier. Snowfield doesn't have any crevasses. That's why it's so important that you stay on the middle of the snowfield and you'll get off to the right or the left. If you want to have a GPS or a couple of bearings and a map, or somehow be sure to keep yourself going straight up there. Good drawer, he's holding my gloves, thank you very much. My trip coming up the hill. Okay, here we are. Still coming down. The weather's kind of socked in again. Can't really see anything. Pretty much of a whiteout. There's a lot of tracks on the ground, so you basically try to follow those tracks, follow a compass bearing, whatever. And then there's these wands along the way here. Um, so you kind of go from wand to wand if you can. To see that you're still on the right track. There's a mountain. Comes in and out of view periodically with the rolling fog banks. Continue on down this snowfield. Hey, back to the parking lot. Yeah, and go back and bunch of tourists here. A lot of people playing on the hill there. been relaxing here in the lodge and now we're going to go down and have dinner in the parking lot. Okay, we're down to the, down to the parking lot for uh, for dinner. We're having uh, mashed potatoes and chicken and coffee here. And over here we're having couscous and, uh, couscous and salmon. salmon. Mm -hmm. Bread. And bread. And I don't know what we're having over here. <clears throat> I think we're having oh having a sandwich from the cafeteria. <laughs> anyway, this will be dinner, and then we'll uh, 
Well, I suppose go up to the uh, go up to the lodge and listen to the ranger talk tonight, and sit by the fire for a little bit, and uh, and go to bed and go climbing tomorrow. Okay, dinner's over. Getting ready. Hey, what? Getting ready for the uh, the uh, ranger talk over here. I see they're setting up for us. So pretty soon we'll have the ranger talk, and then we'll. Fix to go to bed after that, I guess. <laughs> okay, after the ranger talk, we went to bed here in our respective rooms. And uh, now it's time to get up and get started the next day. Looks like Benet is still in his room. And I'm preparing breakfast, and Wes is over there getting breakfast ready. Today, time to get up. Well, today we're going to climb Unicorn Peak. Uh, spent the night in the parking lot there, and uh, just had breakfast, and going to go up to the trailhead here. The weather is terrible, or it's not blowing or anything like that, it's just rainy. And uh looks like it's likely to continue to be rainy, so uh, it's not going to be fun in that respect, but we'll give it a shot. Um, anyway, heading for the trailhead, uh, get started for the Unicorn Peak Climb. Here's what the weather looks like. There's the tattoo range over there. Just uh, leaving Paradise here, driving over towards the trailhead, and that's the tattoo range. It's, it's raining. Uh, unicorns over on the far left side here. Um, that's our goal. It takes about two and a half hours to hike in. It's pretty easy uh, actual rock climb at the end there. But uh, pretty fun. The trailhead's right near Reflection Lakes. This is Reflection Lakes. Nothing reflecting here today. Still a whole bunch of snow up here. Here it is, middle of July. Okay, here we are at the uh, trailhead for Unicorn. We lost a couple, uh, lost a couple people. I think we're down to, we're, we're down to seven, we're down to seven people. Uh, it's uh, kind of stopped raining, but it's still kind of yucky. Uh, just getting ready to head up. Taking uh, what three ropes and a uh, couple light racks, and we'll see how it goes. There's Unicorn Peak. That's our goal, right up there in the middle. Okay, so we're just going to go right up, right up that chute there, and then on up to the peak right up there. stopping to get our ice axes out and our helmets as we're going to kind of start getting this some steeper stuff here. Don't really need them right now, but in a few minutes we will.
Okay, we're going right up, up through there, up around the back side. Okay, there's the next snow chute we go up. It's a little, maybe a little steeper than the other, about the same. There's Wes. Wes doesn't know the meaning of going slow. He's pretty much got one speed. He's trying to slow down for us. Yeah, this is a spot we were worried about crossing a kind of a moat. It looks like it's not going to be a problem. Last year there was kind of a big moat between the snow and the rock. It was a little bit dicey getting across. No problem this time. So here's that, here's that, uh, that moat. Kind of drops off down there. It'd be kind of tricky to get between the snow and the rock. But it looks like we just be able to go up around the end there. Okay, this is the end of the snow climb. So now we're going to go up on some rock and traverse around, and then there'll be a short pitch uh, rock climb at the end there. But we're up to the top of most of the actual climbing. Sun's starting to come out. Turning out to be beautiful right now. Okay, that's the summit block right over there, per se. So all we gotta do is walk over to there and then we'll do that short rock pitch.
got the man in action now. Carolyn is going up, leading the way. Wes is mostly just eating. <laughs> I'm supervising. Super. Super. Hey, Wes! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's Vinay. Vinay just belayed me up there. Thank you very much, Belay. Or Vinay. Vinay for the Bonnet. Belay. Can you get up that fast? Yeah. Oh, Jim. No, I know there is someone else. And here we are on top. Waiting for Jim coming up the, the other route on the prosecuting up. Carolyn's going to wrap down here and then uh, climb back up the other route that I just climbed up and that uh, Wes climbed up and Vinay climbed up. Kind of a fun little route.
Okay, here we are on the very top of Unicorn. The weather has turned out to be pretty nice. Nicer than we thought at first, anyway. It's kind of a panoramic view around here. So we're about ready to head, start heading down. Oh, did, which one did you get? Okay, heading back down. Got to go back down all through that. Get back down to the car. Hikus did a good job on the uh, self-arrest there as he slid down the hill. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it on camera. We'd really like to have him do it over again, but he's... Oh, don't worry. He's, we got to wait to go. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep the camera rolling. <laughs> it was perfect form, really good. It would be good for a training video. Didn't wait. We're burying a picket here to uh, make a dead man. A dead man uh, is a terminology for a anchor with a picket placed horizontally, not uh, a dead person. And what we're going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do is. Uh, Set up a rope here, and we're going to belay hike us down this next section here because the last one took took a while, so we just want to speed things up here a bit. The weather's kind of coming in, and um, we're just going to try to speed things up and belay it down. Oh, yeah, we got the picket. Oh, okay. The wind's kind of coming in here, and it's getting kind of socked in, low visibility. 
getting a little bit chilly. So we're going to get the uh, hikers in a harness and put a belay device on the anchor there and just lower him down as far as we can. Yeah, this one rope isn't going to be long enough. So, Vinay and I are going to go down and kind of meet him as he comes down. We'll set up another anchor and uh, transfer him over and uh, do another lower with a separate rope. Well, yeah, that worked out pretty good. We did two anchors, two pitches, just belaying him down. This slope, it went much faster than having him uh, down climb like he was doing earlier. And uh, now we're on the move again. Okay, we're off the hill. Nothing but a hike out here. Weather's kind of coming in still. Managed to do our our anchors and lowers off this slope. Everything went like a piece of cake. And if Steve had been paying attention in the Ranger talk last night, tell you what kind of tone this is. That would be your uh, your. Uh, Deciduous, nutty deciduous nutty pine, uh, red conifer. Western hemlock. Western hemlock. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, pines are the antithesis of deciduous. <laughs> Actually, I, I can't tell you what it is either. I was sleeping through the lecture too. There's the lakes, all snowed in. Looks like we've gone off the mountain just in time. It's dumping rain. We've got all kinds of weather this weekend. <laughs> okay, now we're at the Wildberry featuring a taste of two worlds Himalayan dishes and American menu Momos, Yak Burgers. 